Hey guys, this is Karan here. Welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. I am back with a new video. Here in this video, I am gonna make a review on the latest Pixel 4 XL based custom room available for Redmi Note 8. This room is based on Pixel device Pixel 4 XL and is based on Android 10 as you can see. This one is based on Android 10 and you get the security patch of 5th of March 2020 with Google Play system update of 1st of February 2020. What are the things in this room? How to install this room? What are the features? What is the Geekbench score? Everything in this video. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Let's get straight to the video. So as always I will start with the home screen. In the home screen you can see the pixel launcher would be the by default launcher here about and this one is the pixel launcher based on Android 10. You can see this one and what are the other things you get some customization options like add icon to home screen, display google app etc and swipe right you get the google pixel feed which option is available on the launcher in the launcher settings other things like swipe down you also get the swipe down gesture and this one is only available on the pixel 4 device by default but you can get it on other things too on other devices and other rooms also but by default it is only available on pixel 4 devices quick send tiles are available it there you can see the build number is available you can see there and you can edit your quick setting tiles from here had hold and drag to add or remove tiles you can simply choose to add tiles like this one hold and drag and other things like no customization options here reset option is only available you will get the stock feel here without a single customization option this room also look like hentai os which i already made a review on you can go and check out on my channel other things like google apps are pre-installed as expected like google play store google phone app messages app and google chrome these are the apps are already pre-installed some apps need to be installed after the after you have properly done the setup obviously you need a better internet and you need almost a wi-fi to complete the setup because it will download almost 11 apps for you so make sure you have a proper internet connection google docs google drive google duo google files and other things like google one messages pixel tips these are the apps it will download later on whenever you properly set up your device other things like google camera by default you don't get a single camera no single camera is available by default after installing this room but whenever you install google camera it is not working in my case i have tried google camera 7.0 which was not working i don't know why i will try some try out some other camera kpks to check out if it is working or not and uh, if you want to check out if camera is working or not you can download the app from google play store which is open camera so simply click photos and you can see photos are clicking perfectly without any issues so camera is working but google camera you can try out some other builds like google camera 7.2 or 7.3 whichever you like you can try out that one other things like Geekbench score, the Geekbench score which you get by default in this custom room is this one, single core is 312 and multi core is 1372 which is not a bad thing, average google pixel 4 xl score is 631 they are saying and you can see your device, yani you can see this one is my device google pixel 4 xl but yes this is a model name and whenever you install this room you will see your device will be look like google pixel 4 xl it will be treated as a google pixel 4 xl in a software but our device has 312 is a single core score and when you see the average score of original google pixel 4 xl device of multi core comparison you can see our device has 1372 which is not bad but still if you compare it with google pixel 4 official real device then you will see there is a lot of difference between them other things like you get by default migrate helper app which is available which is properly installed but uh, if you have a migrate backup there and if you want to restore then simply you can go and download from you can make a backup and restore directly from here if you don't know what is migrate and how to make a backup i have already made a video on that one also so you can go and check it out now let's take a look at some settings straight away 
In settings, you can see these type of dashboard conditions are available. Harmful app found and identify music around you. Harmful app is Magisk of the, sorry, Migrate Helper is the harmful app which you can disable from here if you want to. It is harmful it is uh, it is treated as a harmful app from google play protect i don't know exactly what is this and why it is and other things like you have the option of identify music around you this is a feature available in google pixel 4 excel which is a very good thing other things like network and internet you have the option of these things wi-fi calling and volt is work working perfectly i don't have that sim that operator which supports volt and supports wi-fi calling so i cannot show you other things like connected devices, apps and notifications are almost same. In apps and notifications, you have the option to customize your Google Assistant if you want to. That's a good thing. It is also only available in Google Pixel 4 XL devices. Actually, Google Pixel 4 and Google Pixel 4 XL both are almost same same devices and also their host software also. And you can see I have already made a video on Hentai OS that one has that one is derived from Google Pixel 4 and which has also same features, same Bugs. the main bug is there that MTP is not working I will list all the bugs on my website you can go and check it out in display you have the option of adaptive brightness styles and wallpapers you have these four styles by default available no clock style no grid style is available you can customize the wallpapers you can go here and you can set your own wallpapers whichever you like you can choose that one live wallpapers are available like this one this is a very good thing like this it looks perfect it looks nice so you can customize your device by wallpapers other things like screen timeout and screen attention feature is available other things increase touch sensitivity double tap to wake etc storage privacy location everything is same in security you have the option of pattern and pixel imprint it means fingerprint and it is working perfectly i have tried and it is working perfectly in my case other things are almost same account accessibility digital well-being and parental controls you have the option of screen time like digital well-being and parental controls both are available both are working perfectly in system you in you here get gestures available these are the extra gestures you get quick gestures pause music skip songs and silence interruptions and unfortunately these will not work because quick gestures and other motion sense features are not supported in this country we are using this in my country like india so in india these features are not available but still available features are available will not work for you swipe fingerprint for notification this feature will also not work for you i will try out and i have tried out but it was not working for also too jump to camera is obviously available and working perfectly gesture navigation i have already used and you can see i'm using it is also working double tap to check phone this one is also a bug so double tap to wake is not working this one is also a bug lift to check phone is also not working some things are there which are not working i have already listed on my website motion sense because this feature is also not available in this country so it is also not working rules option is available i don't know how to use this feature you can try out and if you want to try out system update is already updated to android 10 security patch level of 5th of march 2020 and at last developer options and these are the things you can customize so this was all from today's video how to install i will already i will already make a installation process on the website i will list all the steps you can go and follow them Installation is very simple. Simply download this room file, install and format data. Everything is done. No extra things to do. This was all from today's video. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. See you in the next video soon.